In this video, I'm going to go over how to scrape over 200 million decision maker contacts that fit your ideal customer profile through Apollo.io. And by the end of this video, you'll not only know how to get the most accurate data, whether it comes to targeting local businesses, e-commerce brands, software companies, and other companies like that, but you'll also get to know how to scrape these email addresses from Apollo for 95% cheaper than what they charge. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, perfect. So as you can see, this is Apollo. Um, this is just a hero page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to log in and pretty much just show you guys pretty much a rundown of how Apollo works if you've never used it before. So primarily you're going to be using one of these two tabs, company and people when you're going to be you know, scraping data. So I'll give like a quick kind of introduction on what each of these filters do. I'm not going to go too much in depth. I'm just going to go kind of the most important stuff, right? So the first thing is going to be the company tab you're going to look at. Essentially, this is going to be the companies you're going to enter. So let's just say, right, like I'll go more into this in the video, but uh, let's just say you have a list of websites. Let's just say, for instance, you have uh, google.com and you press save and search, you know, you'll have google.com come up here or you'll have Google, you'll have the actions you could take links, you know, the, the website, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, how much employees they have industry tags, keywords, and stuff like that. That is going to be pretty useful to you, right? So that's what the company's tab is. You can just import a company and then all the data comes up here. You can also exclude a company. So if you have a list of a thousand, 2000, you know, websites, you can exclude the ones you don't like. So. If you have any clients you're doing this for or for yourself, you have current clients, you can just put on the website and you will not be contacting them. So that is what the company's tab is. Second one is pretty self-explanatory. It is the company or account location. So let's just say I want to target people in specifically, you know, and only United States. You could do that. Let's just say theoretically you want to do, you know, all of North America. It's as simple as just typing in North America. And this will be obviously US, Canada, and Mexico. And you could also do something pretty cool. Hey guys, so we'll just get right back into the video and just one minute. So if you're looking for a cold email lead generation system that's going to consistently book you calls to your calendar, then you've come to the right place. We've helped our clients Morty from your business anytime to close over 30 plus deals in just two months using our system. And we've also helped Avi from daily dose of data science to book over 40 plus calls in just 10 days for his offer. And one of those calls resulting in a $10,000 per month retainer. So again, if you're looking for a predictable source of leads and clients being signed by your company through cold email, then click on the link below and I'll see you guys there. That being said, let's get back into the video. You could also exclude locations, meaning that you could say, okay, let's do, I want to do North America, but I just don't want to do Canada. So this would only include us and Mexico Our companies in us and Mexico, right? So that's how the you know exclusion, you know, tab works. Also another cool thing you could do is you can also do it by zip code. So let's just say, right, we have nine, four, one, 105 for instance within a 50 mile radius if you press enter this will be every single company between you know a 50 mile radius 100 mile radius 300 mile radius stuff like that in my opinion this will be good if you are targeting local businesses or you know uh, let's just say you're a commercial roofing company and you want to work with other you know commercial you know uh, companies or restaurants and local businesses around you you could do that as well so that's just kind of what the you know account location you know thing does next one is going to be employee count super self-explanatory again let's say you want to target people between one and a hundred employees, you'll have that say multi-selector, or, you know, if you want to just do one through 20 things like that, or if you want to do higher level, you could do that. A lot of times you could just do a custom range. So let's just say you're working with someone or even you want to do cold email or, or just use this for yourself. Let's just say you want to work with people between minimum, you know, let's just say minimum four employees and maximum 25. So it's a little bit more custom to you. You could do that. And obviously it'll output a different number. You know, that would be one to 10. So it gives you kind of a little bit more room to play around with the numbers. And also you, there is a, a number of employees unknown. You could see there's a lot of companies without you know, a known employee account just because maybe, you know, Apollo just can't get that data from LinkedIn, whatever it is, but that is there as well. Now, the next one is going to be one of the most important, if not the most important tabs when it comes to Apollo, it's going to be industries and keywords. So as you can see right here, we have the industry tags. So these are going to be, I believe there's like 140 different industries here. And these are essentially the overarching industries, you know, that Apollo has categorized. So let's just say, for instance, I want to be targeting specifically companies in marketing and advertising. So marketing companies, right? If I do that, there's going to be 959,000 companies that fit under the marketing and advertising 
filter. But the problem with that is that not all of these companies are marketing agencies, right? Some of them are software companies that help marketing agencies that are under the industry tags, or some of them might be, you know, some of them just don't really relate to the keyword or the industry just because Apollo isn't hundred percent accurate with their industries and keyword tags. So that's why you would go to the next step and you would go to include keywords. So let's just say I want to do marketing companies or let me make this a little bit more simple. Let's say I want to target lead generation companies, right? So companies like us, right? Like at Borks, let's just say I want to target those companies. What I would do is since they fit under the umbrella of the marketing and advertising industry, I would want to do include keywords of lead generation, right? I would do, you know, cold email B2B lead generation. And, you know, I pretty much just keep going. Obviously, this is going to be an example lead list. I would obviously put a lot more attention to it, but essentially where you're going to have all these companies that fit under that category of marketing advertising, because obviously lead generation fits in that industry, but they're going to be B2B lead generation companies. For instance, if I just do this and I exclude the marketing and advertising, what might happen is you're going to get like, for instance, software companies that, you know, let's say they're, they're like a software company that helps lead generation companies, whether it's maybe sending emails or providing email inboxes, whatever it is, you're going to get a lot of those companies. So when you kind of filter down, you do marketing and advertising, you'll only have the marketing agencies or marketing companies that provide B2B lead generation services. So obviously it might be a little bit complicated to kind of grasp in one, you know, in like a 30 second window, but that's essentially the importance of industries and keywords. There's also other filters you could do with this. You can also exclude industries. So again, let's just say we have marketing and advertising here, but I want to go ahead and I want to exclude everyone in construction, whatever that I'll take down the list. Cause maybe there's construction marketing companies that I don't want to talk to. So you could do that. You could do is known is unknown and things like that. You could also do the exact same thing where you can exclude keywords. So let's just say I do marketing and advertising, but I don't want to target people doing SEO or PPC or media buying, right? Or things like that. So that will obviously lower the list because a lot of these companies, you know, you, you know, provide these services, but I don't want to target them. So I can exclude that. And then this is the include all keywords, meaning, you know, this company has to include at least one of these keywords. So let's just say I do cold email, for instance, this should lower the list a lot. There you go. So there's 363 companies that specifically have the cold email term in there, which again, that's why you do your market research with the keyword, you know, research. So you can actually see, you know, what falls under that umbrella of keyword. Now you'll notice, and I'll go into this more in depth in, in this video, but the keywords that Apollo actually have are not that accurate. You'll notice that let's just say if I just do like, if I go here to include keywords and I want to target HVAC companies, for instance, or heating and cooling, you'll see right here that the data is not hundred thousand percent accurate, right? So obviously I want to target heating and cooling companies. If I go here, let's see what this is. I'm assuming this is like a recruiting company, right? So job centers, this is a recruiting company, HVAC school. This is a probably training organization for HVAC companies. I don't know what this is. This there's a lot of, yeah, this is, this is not, this is like tools or something like that, but there's a lot of companies that don't fit under that window, right? Because just the keywords that Apollo actually use are not that good. And that's why, you know, I'm going to show you how to get external data, like databases, like Google, my business store leads and Crunchbase to actually go take that data, which is already, you know, really good at filtering and kind of categorizing the keywords, you know, matching with the domains and bringing it to Apollo to find the decision makers. But again, we'll get to that in a little bit, right? So once that's done, right, these are pretty much the only things you're going to need are these few filters here. Occasionally, you're going to want to use the technologies. So if I want to target specifically companies on you know, e-commerce brands, I'd probably want to do, you know, Shopify technology, which is again, you know, about a half a million companies, right? But again, that's, you know, for another, another video, right? So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the people tab, right? So with the people tab, this is where you're going to actually find the decision makers you want to contact. So let's just give it a quick example. Let's just say, right, we have, we want to target, let's just do whatever apple.com, right? There's 159,000 employees at apple.com, right? So let's just say I want to talk to the head decision maker. So I'd probably just do CEO. I probably want to do the owner, maybe someone in the head, you know, whatever, maybe head, but anyone in the head, maybe director. And again, you would kind of go through this list. And as I said, do your own proper research to find out who the exact person you want to talk to is, but essentially this is what you would get, right? You would get a list of 3,186 people that 
have some sort of head role at your company you want to talk to. So yeah, apple.com and right. You can go through and, and kind of filter this list with the job titles filter. What I typically do is I'll go and I'll do the CEO owner head director. And what I'll go is I'll go to management level and you can see there's 41 people in entry, meaning these are interns. These are low level people. So what I do is let's say I want to target only high level people that can actually make a decision. I probably do anywhere from owner all the way to director and that obviously will lower the list a good amount. Obviously for this specific example, it's only gonna be like 45 people. But when you target a lot of companies, you're going to want to lower that list because you know, if you contact someone to make a decision, right, as an intern, they can't make any decision. They're going to open up the email or whatever channel you're going to use and they're going to close it. And you know, obviously they can't make a decision. So it doesn't make sense. Right. So that's what I do. Essentially just one more form of clarification. These are the specific job titles. So CEO, owner, head, but the actual level of management and you know, the level of management they actually cover at the company will be between owner and director. So that's kind of clarifying that more with this. There are other ones. There's what is this uh, search Boolean operators? Is this and or this and or that? So you could do that. The same thing with this as the keyword search you could do is known is unknown. And you can also do is not any of so you can exclude them. Same kind of concept with the other filters, right? So that's how the job titles work. Again, all of this is also displayed on the other companies tab. So employee count stuff like that, nothing new, you'll notice right on Apollo, you'll see that a lot of leads Apollo just doesn't have access to right meaning, you know, zero, no email, Apollo doesn't have access to it. So to only scrape the leads that are verified, meaning Apollo has access to them, you can click on verify. So out of the original 3.2 thousand only Apollo only only has access to 1,900 leads or 1,800 leads. Sorry. Um, and that's essentially, you know, you could take this data, scrape it and take it and kind of verify it. And you can, you know, get the leads that Apollo has. But for instance, if you scrape this data, which I'll, I'll click on unavailable, when you scrape this data through Apollo, it's just going to say, you know, first name, last name, and the email you know, column will be empty just because again, Apollo just can't get access to it. Whether it's LinkedIn sales navigator, whatever they're getting their data from, they just cannot get it. So that's why I would only want to, you know, click the verified section. So you understand who to, or, you know, kind of get the emails that Apollo actually has. So. Um, now that you understand how Apollo actually works, uh, I'm going to go on a quick you know, overview on the importance of uh, external data and how to actually leverage external data to get more accurate data. So as I showed you guys before, when you are, for instance, you want to target HVAC companies, right? You'd probably just go here, you do HVAC, you know, heating and cooling, AC repair, all these different types of, you know, things. And this is, these are for uh, local businesses, right? whatever there's carrier, all these other ones that just aren't applicable. As you go through, you'll see that there's going to be some that are actually applicable. So like air, air track, air track, HVAC, you know, facility services, HVAC, you know, all these different, you know, keywords. And if you actually go on a website, most likely it's going to be, you know, accurate data. So again, industrial commercial HVAC, this is perfect. This is an ideal lead, but again, most of the keywords like just like this, if I go back to the first one, like HVAC recruitment, you can see right here, it still has the keyword HVAC. So we, that's not going to be accurate, right? If, if I want to contact HVAC companies and I want to do marketing for them, I don't want to target this type of company. So again, how to get more accurate data is going to be to go to our discord. So if you guys don't already know me and my partner own lead Academy, which essentially is a private community full of lead generation agency owners. And we have tons of tools coaching calls. It's pretty much a A to Z, you know, kind of toolkit for you to use for lead generation, right? Whether you are a lead generation agency owner or doing it for yourself, I would most definitely recommend you looking into this just because we have tons of tools, tons of data and tons of information you can use. So what I would do is I'd come to export GMB, which this is just going to be exporting from Google, my business. So if you go here and you type in like, you know, HVAC near me, for instance, right? And you do that, you'll have the Google My Business listings, right? Your typical process is going to be scrape this data using instant data scraper or something like that. And it just takes a long time. So what you could do is you can just go to our Discord right here, do the term HVAC location. What I would do is I would get a list of the locations you want to you know work with. Let's just say here I have a list of these we can use. Let's just say I do I'll just do like a, I'll just do like a quick example just so we don't you know we're not here forever of the HVAC companies in these couple areas in New Jersey. So I'll download that quickly and then I'll go to our discord and I'm going to just drag and drop this. All right, perfect. So as you can see, right, I put in a list of a couple cities um, in New Jersey. I'll do with websites and I'm going to, you know, uh, 
let that go. I'm gonna, you know, pause this quickly and I'll get back to you when this is done. All right, so as you can see, right, this is the data that we actually pulled. Obviously, obviously, there's not too much data. There's only like, you know, 306 websites here or 305 websites, but these are all the ones, the, obviously these are also in like three cities in, in New Jersey. So we have them here. So what I would do is I would take all the websites here. This is gonna be what you're gonna need. Take the websites, go to apollo.io. And instead of getting this super inaccurate data, you can come all the way to the company tab include such exclude companies and press save and search. And you'll see, obviously there's going to be some exclusions. You're gonna to have to exclude some of these that are, you know, tons of employees, you know, so I'd be like one to 50, for instance, or one to hundred. You have these websites, so I can open them. Boom. And you'll see right here, uh, this one's a little bit wonky, but uh, right there you go. Heating and cooling company right here. Synergy, HVAC, plumbing, electric right here. You know, meets an innovation. This is another HVAC company. Trust your home with us. HVAC company, Russo's bros, uh, expert, you know, blah, blah, blah. And as you can see, there's tons of accurate data. Again, as I showed you, there's going to be some exceptions. You're going to have to want to exclude those, but 99.9% .9 of the time, you're going to have very, very accurate data. And then again, what you would do is you'd come from, you know, from there, you'd have these two builders live. And if I want to do, obviously this is a small list, but what I would want to do is do the owner founder and you know, whatever CEO, and you have tons of leads and only want to talk to the verified leads that Apollo actually has. Again, as I said, really small list, but we have about 15 active contacts that fit my ideal customer profile. And again, there's other forms of, as you can see, right, we have, you know, you could scrape uh, store leads, which is basically, if you've never used store leads, it's a e-commerce database that has tons of accurate data that you can use, right? We have export, uh, where is this? Export store leads. So you could do like sh only Shopify companies in the sports industry that are, you know, follow fitting in the sporting goods industry. And I want to, um, you know, only active websites and outdoor doors, blah, 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 and within sales, this many sales and specifically, you know, this country, Bermuda, whatever, Bar Barabuda, whatever, and I can get that list. And it would basically be the exact same thing where I put in the, the list of companies and get the data that Apollo is going to give us. Now, the next step with this is going to be exporting the data. So as I said, in the beginning of the video, Apollo charges a lot for this. I can show you guys right here the pricing, but I think it's for, let's just say, right, for instance, this is about 7,000 leads. So 7,000 leads is going to be about $250 per month, which obviously that's very, very expensive. Uh, what you can use is you can use a company, a website called export Apollo, where for, for an example, 10,000 leads, it'll be, uh, let's see how much it is for 10,000 leads. It's going to be about $48. So you can see it's extremely cheap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our initial list of 15 people. I'm going to go copy link and I'm going to go to the dashboard. I'm going to put in the link here. I'll name it test list. And then I'll just put the 15 contacts that we want to scrape. Actually, there's a hundred minimum, but I'll just put in a hundred and then it's just going to scrape the 15 press scrape. There you go. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to wait, want to wait you know, about like, you know, five, 10 minutes for it to be scraped and, you know, come back for when that's done. All right. So as you can see right here, these are the 15 contacts that we could scrape from Apollo right here. We have first name, last name, title, and pretty much every single thing you need, obviously, including the email that we can use. And again, a super, super affordable and cheap option from, you know, export Apollo rather than using Apollo's pricing, which is obviously very expensive. So I hope that video was extremely valuable. Obviously you kind of learn what Apollo is, how to use it, how to get, you know, leads from or websites from external sources and, you know, grab the decision makers and also how to scrape these leads for extremely cheap. So if you found this video useful, please do leave a like down below and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day guys. Bye.